Welcome right. to Fancy Fridays with Paul and Lisa. <laughs> the premise is you get dressed up and don't go out because we're in isolation. <laughs> <laughs> isolation. So, yeah, we've seen on the internet that some people are doing this and it gives a little bit of normalcy to the day. We usually get really dressed up on Sundays to go to church and since we're not doing that now, we thought we'd do like a Fancy Fridays and so... What's going on? Well, we, we were curious to see what things were happening, so we took a trip outside, uh, just drove through town, stayed in the car, didn't have any contact with anyone, and we drove, so we took a drive. Uh, an interesting thing that we saw was just down the road a little ways, uh, there's a place called Greek Brothers, and it's a restaurant. They had some cones out because they're doing takeout, you come in there and pick it up, and they had an interesting new feature there. It was a mascot. Lisa, tell them about this mascot. Well, I don't know what it was, but it was like a superhero type mascot thingy, and he was um, Bud Man. I Bud think. Man. And he had in his hand a box of Corona, like he was combating the coronavirus, I guess. Because so. you know there is a Corona alcoholic beverage, and they serve alcoholic beverages yeah. at this oyster bar. Yeah, I think some uh, people think they can combat Corona by drinking a lot, um, just from some of the things I've seen. But let's see. <laughs> there's, there's water. There's, any fact in that. But anyways. I'm much better now. No. We uh, wanted to. Hopefully I won't spill this this time. Check in with everybody and see how you're coping. What are you doing as coping mechanisms to not go crazy um, and not kill your spouse, which this morning I was a little irritated with Paul. And, <laughs> um, you know, tensions are getting a little high around here. We've been together for. 14 days now, pretty much. Something like that. It was, um, yeah. Without much contact with people. So, um, anyways, tonight we are doing a movie night. We are going to be popping some popcorn. <laughs> homemade popcorn with real butter. I guess don't do approximately movie, 10 seconds per pop. Then it might be done. The movie that we've chosen is one of my all-time favorites. Oh, she says all-time, but until, <laughs> like, real, right at the end of the year, That's last year. all time. Within like the last five months, she has never seen this movie, even though this movie is as old as she is. It's almost exactly as old. It's very close. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And she now, thought she though, would hate it. And but I've now... seen it multiple times since then, and I now own it on DVD. Da -da 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 -da. We got this before the virus outbreak and all that, and I've been waiting for a special occasion to do like a, a marathon. What's, what's really cool is uh, the only ones I like. Well, but this has the first six, and we've actually never seen. Uh, Rocky Balboa, which is Rocky Six, but we have seen Rocky Eight, which is called Creed Two. But we've seen that one. But really, the first two are the, the ones that I like. So that's you don't what, like the robot? No. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, what are y'all doing? Comment below. Let us know what you guys are doing to cope. Maybe we can help each other out. Give give some ideas. Luckily, Lisa and I were pre prepared for the situation, and we do have Corona ointment. So for all those chapped hands. It's been been working on Paul's hands because he don't like to put lotion on. So I've been putting so that we've on been him using the corona before ointment. bed because he don't like the sticky. Since we don't drink alcohol, we don't get the corona alcohol. We do have the corona ointment. Yes. So there we go. And we're we're still doing good over here. Got lots Aren't you going to quote a scripture or something like death, blood, violence? You know, I was going to pick out a scripture, but you jumped the gun. You wanted to do this video. Well, so. you could pick I, me. I thought you were the one who wanted to do the video. I know, what? but you had it all set up, and then you were like, well, let's well, pick start. out a virus. Can we pause? Pick out a virus? I mean, a, okay, a scripture. Okay, I'm going to make up a new virus. No, we don't need any more of those. A scripture. So don't get viruses confused with <laughs> biblical scriptures. It's, it's not a good thing. Oh, help me, Ronnie. Plagues, pestilence. Y'all see what I got to put up with. Now, if I come out of this saying, it's going to be a miracle on the other side of this. And don't be judging nobody about the beach bodies this year because we're all going to, I think, put on a little weight through all of this. I ate a corn dog at 4 p.m. today. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So what scripture do you want to pick um, up? Let's see. Well, my favorite scripture of all time is, His mercy endureth forever. And I know that's in Psalms. Um, I can't remember which chapter it's in, but... Um, it's, multiple, I mean, I'm I sure. mean, it's in multiple chapters, but there's one specific chapter that Is has it the it one that has like in every verse over and over again. Yes. And I love that. Um, his mercy endureth forever. And so we can rest in that, that God is merciful and we're all going to get through this together and be encouraged in the Lord. Make sure you're taking that extra time with him. 
every day and in his word. Love y'all. See you soon. You have to press that button to turn it off. Oh, that button.